Right, I believe Flavian Pratt is on the line now. Flavia, can you hear us okay? I can hear you well. How Thanks very you? much indeed for joining us here on Racing TV. Uh, I'm alongside Martin Dwyer and Dave Yates here in the studio. First of all, after your magnificent win aboard Flightline, I imagine you've had plenty of praise and adulation since then, and of course, very much straight after the race itself. My first question is, has it sunk in yet? Yeah, it started to sink in. It, it, it was, uh, to be honest, the first, uh, I mean, even right, right after the wire and the next day, it wasn't, I was still, uh, didn't, I didn't realize. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's start to uh, sink in and uh, yeah, it's uh, what, what a joy. And not only to win the Breeders' Cup Classic, but on a horse like Flightline, it must have been the most amazing experience during the race and, of course, when you crossed the line as well. When you did finish in front, what was the feeling like? A uh, mix of motion, actually, because obviously for my part, you know, winning the Breeders' Cup Classic, it's a, it's a big achievement in the career of, you know, of an American rider. But in the meantime, uh, you know, I thought, well, maybe that's the last time I'm gonna I'm gonna have the chance to ride him. So, uh, mixed of motion, but obviously really happy. I mean, the, the horse did a great job, and he showed how good he was and um, how good he is. And um, yeah, no, I was uh, for the most part, I was really excited. Yeah, and he took all of our our breath away, really. And um, we're gonna try and take it from the start. If you could just talk us through from when the stalls opened, and uh, just talk us through basically how the race went. Well, I thought Key was to jump well out of the gate. You know, he's, uh, he has the tendency of breaking a bit slowly. Uh, he, he broke really sharp, and I was able to get myself where I want to be, you know, uh, keeping uh, life as good as a target. And uh, so we got into the first turn, and from that point on, you know, the race was going quickly, um, and I had the chance to get him to relax. Uh, right now, right now he, he dropped the bridle, took a nice breather, and um, and and the whole back side. Even though the f times looked pretty fast, I was I was galloping. I was in a cruising speed, uh, getting in really comfortable. And uh, so from from that point, I felt really comfortable and confident. It must have been the perfect position, just in behind. Life is good for you to get that lead, and. I the amount of times that you look around during the race, we just saw that once there, you do look very confident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, uh, as I said, it felt like we were going, you know, a really good pace. Uh, just want to, you know, look and see, um, you know, where the other horses were. Um, uh, you know, I thought the setup could, could um, work out for some horses, you know, with a strong pace, and I didn't want to burn my wings. But it, you know, like I said, I felt like I was traveling so well all the way around. And, and right now I'm asking him to get to the next gear and respond right away. And after that, it was pretty much over. Lavian, we've just, just watching the replay now. Just as you come out of the back straight, you, you look around. Um, you seem to have the horse in front of you well covered. You look around and the rest of the field are 10 to 12 lengths behind you. What crossed through your mind at that point? Well, when, when uh, around the turn, when I look back and I see that they, they were not making any ground on us, I say, well, OK, it's, so now from that point, it's only life is good and me. And I mean, I felt like life is good was giving everything. I felt like he was trying really hard where I was still in, in cruising. So, yeah, I mean, around the turn, I felt like, OK, if everything goes well, we should we should be fine. Yeah. It must have been an amazing feeling. Stupid question, but did you ever think you were going too quick? No, 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 no. No, to, like I said, to be honest, I, I felt like we were going quick, but I, I was I was in cruising speed and I didn't feel like I was doing too much. So no, I, I never felt like like I was going too quick. And that's, that's you know, that's what he's really good at. He's, he has such a cruising speed. That is, is you know everybody's getting tired chasing him and and if you go in front of him like life is good deal because he has so much talent and so much speed into him. I mean at one point they stop where him he can carry the speed for forever so that's that's what he's so good at. It's typically the the you know the the best mix for for a dirt horse having a high cruising speed and carrying the speed. 
Flavia, it's, it's been an incredible journey uh, with Flightline. Um, have you, what's it like in terms of pressure? Because it, it's hard to think of a, of a horse who was, was quite such a sort of headline act, if you like, in American racing in recent years. You're the guy who's on top. You're the guy who can't afford to get anything wrong. Was there a, was there a pressure that came with that? Oh, definitely. Uh, especially um, going into the Breers Cup Classic, there, there was, you know, when he won the Pacific Classic, I think everybody um, understood how good he was, what could he do. And going to the Breers Cup Classic, there was definitely so much expectation. It, it almost felt like we could we could only uh, disappoint people. I mean, it, it felt like there was so much expectation that, you know, I mean, if he didn't win, it was going to be a disaster. That's, that's what it felt like. But uh, when I get to, you know, when I get to Friday, I went to the drugs room and, you know, obviously now you in new element, uh, I felt a lot better. And um, and when I get on him, uh, you know, everybody's kind of, I mean, he's the star. Everybody's looking at him, think, taking picture of him, uh, you know, in a, in a, in the paddock and and i just realized how lucky i am to to be on him and and to to ride him and i realized how, you know that you know everybody would love to be in my in my position and uh and and, and makes me feel confident and um yeah it was it was it was a lot of pressure but in the meantime it was actually i actually liked it it was uh it was it was fun i really tried to embrace it as well Flavia, you've had a, a catalogue of graded winners in the past. You know a good horse when you sit on one. At what point with Flightline were you aware of just how good he might be? We always uh, thought he was good uh, from, from the beginning, uh, as I say uh, a few times. The first time I, I galloped him in the morning, uh, his trainer, John Sadler, you know, came to me and said, that's the best horse I ever trained. Uh, and John Sadler is not somebody who, you know, really, um, uh, how can I say that? He's not, you know, he's not bragging on horses as soon as they, they show, you know, two good gallops there. So, so it was, uh, obviously a, you know, a point where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm riding a great horse there. And he's, so he's always shows some talent. Uh, the first race was really impressive. Uh, I thought where he had to, um, to improve himself was mentally and and race after race he was just getting better he he was relaxing better he was he understood what I asked him to do and I thought every race there was always a, an improvement well Flavia you made the perfect pair and I think all that's left to be said is felicitation very well done indeed on a marvelous victory in the British Thank Cup Classic and thanks very much indeed for coming on as well thank you thank you for having me Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.